Abrams. He's gotten over Monica Lewinsky. He's moved on with his life. Here you are, millionaire, with four thousand dollars. Now I know that you uh, went to law school and you were a lawyer, but now That's you're right. unemployed. You, you've left law, right? I left the law. I graduated law school a couple of years ago. Practiced for a couple of years. Worked for a judge for a couple of years. And didn't it just, like it. It wasn't for me. It didn't fit my personality. So, so what is your personality? What would you like to do? I'd actually really like to get involved in horse racing in some capacity. Really? I, I, it's so strange. I mean, I'm not, I'm not from Kentucky. I didn't grow up around horses, but just started watching racing and absolutely fell in love with it. Are you a gambler? Or? Somewhat, but yeah. not, uh, not tremendous. So that's not the if thing. If I win a lot of money today, I'll have more money to gamble. That, yeah. <laughs> so would you... <laughs> oh, wait, my mom's going to hear that now. <laughs> do you want to see yourself though, buying a horse someday? I or? would love to buy a horse. I'd yeah. love just to get involved in managing, training. Do you, would uh, you know a good horse if you saw a good horse? I would think so. Yeah, I really? would think so. Right. If, you, if you know anyone who, you know, needs No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I actually don't know anybody who knows a good horse, but if I should meet someone, I'll let them know about you. Terrific. So far, <laughs> that you said if you make enough money, you might be able to do this, and you're doing a great job. Absolutely. You got the 4000 thanks to the audience, who's wonderful, by the way. You're eight away from a million. You still have two lifelines. Are you ready to keep playing? I sure am. All right, then let's play. All right, Seth, for $8,000 here. In 2005, party leaders reached an agreement making Angela Merkel the first female chancellor of what country? Germany, Canada, South Africa, Switzerland. I don't know this off the top of my head, and I remember something in the news about this big deal in Germany that there was a disputed election. Chancellor's what the head of Germany would be. It's not Canada. It's not South Africa. Could take the 50-50, but I'd like to save that. Let's go with A, Germany, final answer good memory. You got it for $8,000. It's a pretty safe gamble, but a gamble nonetheless. It's $16,000 to the question. Over half of the electricity consumed in the U.S. is produced using what fuel source? Coal, nuclear power, natural gas, hydroelectric power. I don't think it's nuclear power. And I don't think it's hydroelectric power, but either coal or natural gas. Use a 50-50. Okay, computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Be wrong. You're right. You have it. Good job. Good job. Wow. Oh my God. Are you okay? Oh, my heart just cold. I'm like, all right, it's cool. This is fun. That was a fun day. It was a good time. It's a good time. You're going for twenty-five thousand right. dollars. That's pretty good. Let's rock. Let's take a look. Before he became A-list, what actor starred in a James Dean-inspired video for the Paula Abdul song, Rush Rush? Brad Pitt, Keanu Reeves, George Clooney, Johnny Depp. I'm gonna phone a friend. Who would you like to call? I'm gonna call Thomas. And who's Thomas? Thomas is a friend of mine from Colorado who was on my trivia team. He also was the racquetball pro at my gym. Oh, okay. We're gonna get <laughs> well-rounded guy. We're gonna get Thomas on the line. Hello? Hello, Thomas. It's Meredith from Millionaire. How you doing, Meredith? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Terrific. You know that I'm sitting here with Seth? I do. And he's going for $25,000. Great. He just needs your help. Okay. All right, Seth, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Before he became A-list, what actor starred in the James Dean-inspired video for the Paula Abdul song, Rush, Rush? Brad Pitt, 
Keanu Reeves, George Clooney, or Johnny Depp? The answer is Keanu Reeves, and that's 100% sure. Oh, uh, you're the man, Thomas. Take it. <laughs> Take it out. All right. Thomas is never wrong. Really? Uh, let's uh, go B, Keanu Reeves, final answer. Never wrong, that Thomas. Abrams and his Capital One check for $25,000. Not just the twenty five, dollars but you did get the fourth lifeline. Congratulations awesome. Thank you, to you. Thank you. Yes. And I know we said before you're looking to change careers, get involved with horse racing, uh, and 25 will come in handy, but you also have debt, right? I, have, I still have my entire law school education not paid for. So. And how much is that? Uh, around $100,000. Oh, my gosh. So. Hundred thousand dollars to go to law school so that you can get out so, of law. So I can go there you go. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you're following your dream, and that's Absolutely. the most important thing anybody can do. Absolutely. And right now you're playing like you're really following a dream because you've got twenty-five going for fifty thousand, five away from a million, and you have that switch the question. Awesome. You want to switch out at any time you can. Sure. Ready to keep playing? Absolutely. Okay, let's play. <laughs> this is for fifty thousand dollars, Seth. 1700 was a modification of a folk reed pipe called the shalabo. Bassoon, saxophone, clarinet, oboe. I have absolutely no idea. And I thought about, you know, winging it on this and going for the, because it's a free shot, but I nothing's think jumping nothing's out. jumping out. I was like, hmm, I know it's, you know, they're all reed instruments, but I think all of those are reed instruments. So, and I don't know, clarinet seems a little bit more modern, I guess. And saxophone, metal, so I can't, I mean, I'm grasping here, so let's switch the question. Want to switch out of it, okay. Computer, let's see the correct answer. It was, it was clarinet. Yes, so it, now you know, you, you had no idea. No idea. I'm going to switch out of this, please, computer, for another question valued at $50,000. On the TV series Gilligan's Island, what is Mrs. Lovey Howell's first name? Agnes, Eunice, Grace, and Marilla. And I watched a lot of sitcoms. Yeah. But not this one. And it's funny, it always comes up. And and I even did a little TV review and I didn't look up Gilligan's Island. Uh, so I guess it's a, it's a free guess. Totally a free guess. Totally free guess. Let's do B, Eunice, final answer. Baby luck is on your side. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 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 All awesome. right, Let's Seth Abrams. Wow. This is for a hundred thousand dollars. You're to be debt free. All right. According to the famous Henry Wadsworth Longfellow poem, Hiawatha belongs to what Native American tribe? Chippewa, Mohegan, Shawnee, Arapaho. You remember Hiawatha? I don't. Oh. And I know it's not Arapaho. Those would be. Oh, well, maybe it is. Uh, yeah, I, I would be grass. Fifty thousand, a lot of money. That's gonna be really nice. So I'm gonna walk away. Final. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Hold on, let's see what the answer is. Chippewa. Chippewa. Now you know. Seth, congratulations to you.